Hi everyone, I'm back today and today we're talking about five changes that I have noticed in my life from being more feminine. Now I've noticed a lot more changes but these are kind of like the five that I wanted to talk about today in this video. So the number one, and I think this is kind of the most needed for me in my life, uh, change, positive change is I have a less sense of urgency in my life. I've talked about before how for some reason since I was young I've always done things very fast and I've actually been applauded for that I've been complimented for that you know people notice that about me that I'm really fast in my tasks whether it's lear um, learning something whether it's cooking or cleaning and so because people noticed and pointed that out and complimented me on it I just kind of assumed that it was a good thing but you know, now that I'm a mother of three, I realize in my child rearing and just in life in general that I don't want my entire life to be this kind of fast thing that I just ran through, right? I wanna be fully present here for myself, for my children, for family, friends, and really embody all the experiences that I'm doing versus just being busy from one task to the next. So this is a difference I feel like that's where you're running away from life, where you're just kind of like running from yourself and your feelings to really embodying every experience that you touch. Um, so this is the number one that I needed in my life. And so it's, it's taken some work, but I've definitely lost that sense of urgency and stuff. Um, no, second one is huge, huge, huge uh, life-changing improvement in pretty much all of my relationships. Even in the relationships with friends or family members where you couldn't quite figure out what was wrong, but there was this tension or family members that would t trigger me or I would trigger them, things have just gotten a lot calmer. There's more acceptance, there's more allowing, and um, it's just been an amazing experience. Who knew that being more in touch with your feminine side, with your feminine being, with your feminine essence, would have such a drastic change and improvement in your relationship. So that's definitely one that I really appreciate. Um, the third positive change I've noticed with being more feminine is a lot, a lot, a lot better listening skills. All of us like to think that we're good listeners, but most of us are not. What we're doing when other people are talking is we're usually thinking of the next thing to to say, right? Sometimes we wait for them to stop talking just so we can get our word in. Sometimes we don't even wait for them to stop talking. We're just kind of talking over people. So this is one that I'm really grateful that I am able to really listen from a place of embodiment, being in my body, not being in my head, and not thinking the next thing to say, not fixing, not criticizing, not advising, not coaching, but just being there and witnessing the other person in their as a state. Uh, the fourth positive thing I've noticed since being more feminine is that I am more attractive to people. And this isn't just about physical appearance, right? Because I feel like I've always looked very feminine, but my behavior and the way of being wasn't always as feminine as I would have liked. It wasn't even something that was in my radar. Uh, but now that I have embodied this new way of being, I noticed that People just in general notice me more. This may be children, animals, uh, people um, of all genders, even my own friends just acknowledge and notice my presence a lot more than before. Uh, and let me take a sip of water. The fifth thing I've noticed is that overall my communication skills have improved tenfold if not more. And because I'm a better listener, my communication comes from a more authentic place of really trying to know and feel the other person versus just trying to fix them, right? Or, or talk at them or advise them. All of these changes and more have been truly life-changing for me. I feel better, healthier, more calm, more at peace, more intent, and more intentional in my lifestyle, which has been my number one goal. Um, you know, that you guys have been following for years on my channel. Um, and this is kind of just one more uh, piece to that puzzle. Now, there are some negative effects of this too. Um, and so just being fully raw and honest here, I have noticed that setting goals and sticking with them 
um, is harder for me now. So there's cons and pros to this, I feel. I think that I was overly fixated on goals before and I've always been kind of a go-getter and a person that if, if I say something that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it. Like it's just gonna happen. There's like no way that I'm gonna fail. I am just that type of nature. But now I notice that I'm more relaxed about goals and I enjoy the more the experience more, which is a good thing, obviously. But then if I have like a schedule with workouts scheduled in, meal prepping, I'm so relaxed that um, I'm not able to always keep up with that, okay? So I'm trying to be more uh, compassionate towards myself. I'm trying to be more understanding towards myself with that. Maybe I just needed a break, but I'm also kind of pushing my limits a little bit more as well because I don't want to settle, right? I'm, I am that person that's a biohacker. I like, like trying new things. I like pushing my fears. I like pushing um, through things that may be setting me back. So this is something that I'm going to keep working on and I will definitely be sharing more with you guys. Now, if you want to learn how to be more feminine in your life, I have a host of different programs on this. A lot of my paid content goes into much more greater detail. I have amazing review from thousands of women that have already taken my programs. You can find all the reviews and the information on the programs on my website. Everything is listed um, in the description box with like a little quick description of each program. But if you want to learn about feminine energy, the place to start is my high value monthly babes membership club. In this club, we have about seven sessions, live groups training sessions a month. Uh, three of them are full sessions, one hour long, and the other four are mini sessions and you get to ask a lot of questions. So this is basically the best way to work with me one-on-one -on -one, um, in a group setting, of course, but I give individual attention to each person that shows up live. And um, really for a low monthly fee, you get access to so much information, so much content. Um, here's a hack for people who are on a budget. So it, it bills you monthly and you can cancel every time. So let's say if you subscribe today to that monthly membership, there is all the content gets re recorded and posted up there and is available for replay. If you had time and you binge watched all the previous sessions, joined us in the next ones and canceled, it wouldn't bill you the next month, but it would, um, you have that access the first time you pay for 30 days. So if you wanted to just test it out for 30 days, binge watch all the content, see if it's for you, then you can cancel and then you would not get build for the next month. So I hope that makes sense. If you have questions, leave them in the description box. And as always, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.